This video is created by Jagrat Creations. This video is useful to the students who are reading for inter CA or say IPC or IBCC. It is also useful to the students who are reading for FIBCOM or even other professional courses who has this chapter in accounting in their syllabus. The name of the chapter is insurance claim for loss of stock. The concept to be understood in this chapter is insurance policy is taken for stock. Now insurance policy covers the risk that may occur due to fire. So if the stock is destroyed by fire and if you have taken an insurance policy, how much amount can be claimed from the insurance company or how the claim before the insurance company gets ascertained. Now, when fire occurs, it occurs spontaneously, accidentally. Before that stock has not been taken, so we don't know the real value of stock that existed just before the moment of fire. And for the purpose of making insurance claim, we should know what is the total cost of stock is being lost. How to get that information, the value of stock that was exposed to the risk of fire. For that, a memorandum trading account is prepared. Normal trading account is prepared to find out the gross profit. If the details of gross profit is available to the trader, either on the basis of policy or on the basis of past experience. So if the normal rate of gross profit is available, we prepare memorandum trading account to find out the closing stock missing item that is stock at the moment of fire. So we are required to prepare a memorandum, memorandum trading account till the date of fire. It exactly looks like trading account. All the contents are found in memorandum trading account are alike. But the only difference, this trading account is prepared not for the whole year, but right from the beginning of the year till the date of fire one. All the purchase, sales, opening stock, etc. is to be recorded at cost. Only those purchases are recorded for which the delivery has been received. Only those sales are recorded for which the delivery has been made. So this is the specific things which you should consider. And the, the most important point, the purpose of memorandum trading account is to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire on the basis of normal rate of gross profit details are available. Suppose that if they are not available, then you are required to prepare the trading account for past year or years and find out the rate of gross profit for certain three years or four years. Find the average and apply that average to find out the stock at the moment of fire. Now when you want to find out the stock at the moment of fire, the stock is classified into two categories for this chapter purpose. One, normal stock, the stock that can be sold at the normal rate or usual rate of gross profit is known as normal stock. The stock other than this is known as abnormal stock. So stock that can be sold other than the normal rate of profit, separate trading account is prepared if part of the such stock is being sold. So we want to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire. Just before one minute of the moment of fire, we are required to find out what, if, what was the normal stock, what was the abnormal stock. Because we are going to find out the normal stock on the basis of application of the rate of gross profit available. And if the rate of gross profit is not available or not applicable to a stock, we should prepare a separate trading account for that. If the part, the part thereof is being sold. Now after preparing these two types of trading account, one trading account for normal stock, second for abnormal stock. First try to complete the trading account for normal stock and then first try to complete the trading account for abnormal stock. Then try to complete the trading account for normal stock. Now for the purpose of preparing a trading account for normal stock. And if you are given the details of total sales, total opening stock, total purchases in the sum, remove therefrom the opening stock of abnormal stock, opening purchases of abnormal stock or sales of abnormal stock, all those details of abnormal stock should be removed from the total of, total of opening stock purchases, sales, etc. are given to you in the sum. Remove therefrom the abnormal stock amount 
and you will get the normal stock. And this is how the normal stock trading account gets concluded. The most important point that prepare a columnar trading account for normal stock and abnormal stock are for, for a period wherein part of the abnormal stock has been sold. Now this is the theory hints given to you for the purpose of solving the sum which I am going to consider right now. Now this is the theory that has been discussed. Now I want to start with the sum. Just observe the sum on the screen and read it. Just read the sum. Now notice the first important point in this sum that you are not given the rate of gross profit. We can find out the rate of gross profit by preparing a trading account for the previous year. The fire has occurred on 19th May 2016. The previous year is 2015 because the fire has occurred in 2016. That was 19th May. So from 1st of January 2016 to 19th May 2016 is a period till the date of fire for the current year. And we are going to prepare a trading account for that current period. But for that we require the rate of gross profit. And that rate of gross profit is not available to us in the sum. So we are required to prepare the trading account for 2015. Wherein you are given the details of opening stock, closing stock, purchase and sales. We will find out the missing item to be gross profit. And that gross profit... On the basis of that gross profit and sales details, we will find out the rate of gross profit. And that rate of gross profit will be applied to a trading account that we may prepare till the date of hire, that is 19 May 2016. So we are required to prepare trading account for 2015. We are required to prepare trading account for 2016 till the date of hire. Now, in valuing the stock, on 31st of December 2015, 1150 have been written off of certain stock which was a poor selling line. Poor selling line means where there were where normal normal rate of profit, normal rate of gross profit cannot be obtained. That's why it is a poor selling line, and its cost is three four five zero. So this is the details of abnormal stock. Now the portion of this stock has been sold in March 2016. So till the date of fire, part of this stock has been sold. So we are required to prepare a columnar trading account for a period till the date of for date of fire. That is from 1st of January 2016 to 19th of May 2016, we are required to prepare a columnar trading account for normal stock and abnormal stock. When we are going to prepare a trading account for 2015 to find out the rate of gross profit, all the details should be recorded at cost. So notice that. So this is the closing stock for 2015. In with the amount return of is 1150, that is added back. So when we add back, we get the cost of closing stock, cost of value, valued at cost, valued at cost, all the stock that is normal as well as abnormal. So this is the value of stock that we are going to record in a trading account that we may prepare for 2015 to find out the rate of gross profit. Now, the part of the stock has been sold. So we are required to prepare a memorandum trading account in this fashion, columnar trading account. Now after explaining these details, let us start with the solution of sum. So here I prepare a trading account for 2015 to find out the rate of gross profit. This is a columnar trading account prepared till the date of fire to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire. This is the details of the sum. I start with adjustments. In valuing the stock for the balance sheet as on 31st of December 2015, 1150 have been written off. On certain stock, which was a poor selling line having a stock or having a cost 3450. Now this closing stock is to be valued at cost. The valuation given is 39,800. This is the amount that has been arrived at after writing off. What amount? 1150. So the cost of closing stock is this one that we should record in our trading account to find out the gross profit and the rate of gross profit. Now the closing stock of 2015 is the opening stock for 2016 next year. So closing stock of first year is the opening stock for the next year or otherwise. 
opening stock of the current year is the closing stock for the previous year. So this 40,950 is the total opening stock. Now by removing the abnormal stock details from the total of opening stock, we get normal stock details. So how much is the abnormal stock there in? 3450, remove it, you will get the opening stock at cost of normal stock. So this is the opening stock of normal stock. This is how the abnormal stock details are removed from the total that we have attained, obtained. Now, <clears throat> the portion of these goods were sold in March 2016 at a loss of 125. The original cost is 1750. Now I want to conclude first of all the abnormal stock trading account. So let me find out. This is the sales details which includes the sale of this abnormal stock. So from this total sales, the abnormal stock sales, abnormal stock sales will be deducted and I'll get the sales for normal stock. So let me find out the sale value of abnormal stock. Cost is 1725, loss therein, loss on sale 125. So the sales proceeds are 1600. This sales proceeds will be recorded here in this trading account. Loss thereon also will be recorded in this trading account but this is a sales of abnormal loss this will be deducted from 115,600 so you will get the sales for normal stock so by removing the abnormal stock details from the total of sales given in the sum trading account for normal stock gets prepared so 114,000 is the sales for normal stock now this 125 is the loss that is to be recorded on this side below the sales now I'll find out the, I'll conclude the abnormal stock trading account. Total of debit side is 3450. 3450 minus 1600 and 125. This is the stock of abnormal stock. Abnormal stock existed at the date of fire is 1725. This is how. First conclude the trading account for the abnormal stock and next complete the trading account for normal stock. Now all the adjustments I have considered. I'll start copying the details from this sum which has yet not been considered. Opening stock, trading account debit, closing stock is already considered here, considered here, purchase less return 2015, sales less return 2015, that is recorded in this trading account. Now purchase is till the date of fire, if you are not told anything, you should always presume that the purchase is is made of normal stock. So 18,000, 81,000 sales is already recorded. Now I will close this trading account, find out the gross profit and I'll, I will also find out the rate of gross profit. That rate of gross profit will be applied to this sales of 114,000 and I will find out the missing item of stock, normal stock existed at the moment of fire. Now let us start. <clears throat> the remainder of the stock was now estimated with the original cost. Subject to the above exception, the gross profit has remained uniform throughout the year. The value of the stock survey is 2,900. Now let us find out the gross profit here. So total of credit side minus total of debit, so we get the gross profit. Now how to find out the percentage of gross profit? Gross profit divided by sales into 100. So 48,700 divided by 243,500 into 100, that works out to be 20%. Now this rate of gross profit 20% will be applied to 114,000. So this is the gross profit till the date of fire. And from this total, if you deduct this 114,000 sales, you will get the stock existed at the moment of fire. So stock existed at the moment of fire, that of normal stock, 27,300. Total of these two is known as total stock existed. This is how the trading account, columnar trading account is being concluded. Now, this is the stock existed at the moment of fire. Out of that, how much stock is salvaged? 2,900. So... Loss by fire 26,125. If your insurance policy is of 
29,025 or more than that, you will get the entire amount of loss as an insurance claim. In case of under insurance, the average clause will be applicable. Here in the absence of any details, therefore the insurance claim will be 26,125 only, presuming that either there is a par insurance or an over insurance. This is how the insurance claim is worked out. 